There are a lot of unsung heroes who helped battle the fire one year ago, and we're joined by one of them today. Guy Jetty is his name. Guy uh, used to run the water treatment facility here in the city of Fort McMurray. Newly retired, just retired in December, end of December, he was telling us. Um, one year ago, though, Guy, you and your team desperately worked around the clock to keep the water flowing to firefighters, but... If I remember you, just because I was chatting with you a few seconds ago, there were flames literally out the back door of the facility, right? So how did you guys keep your focus? How did you manage to keep the water pressure strong enough so the, the fire crews could do what they needed to do? Basically, in our case, it was straight adrenaline. Um, most of us uh, have lived here most of our lives, adult lives for sure. And losing was not an option for us. Uh, it was our community, our homes, our, our friends' homes. Uh, we just had to do what we, we needed to do. Uh, how, how, I was just going to say, how did it work, though? Because I know at one point you lost computer connections and that type of thing. How did you route things and, and reroute things to make sure that the water pressure was good enough where it needed to be? Well, our plant is fully automated with our, our remote facilities being pump houses. But I'm from the old school. <laughs> so the old-fashioned way. We put things on manual and we operate manually. So you were pulling the levers or whatever it happens to be to make sure... Opening valves, uh, pulling levers, uh, making adjustments on pressure relief valves, whatever it took to maintain. H how did you figure out which section of the city to route the water to? When we had communication, uh, we could tell by pressures and flows, uh, things were changing rapidly. When we were in, uh, in a loss communication mode, we basically went outside and did the old Boy Scout and where's the smoke? Okay, that's roughly in that subdivision, so we're focusing on that. Wow, okay. Now, was there ever a risk of running out of water for the fire crews to use? We're at a, a very close risk, so we uh, engaged one of the oil plants to bring down a uh, river pump that we had installed. Uh, the only thing is, it was straight river water where it pumped, and it was basically a motivation to improve and get things done. Yeah, to make sure nothing got contaminated, That's right? right yes. Be because it was a big task after the fire moved away from the city to kind of get the water going again for people to consume, right? Yes, because uh, June 1st, was our deadline was given. Uh, there was uh, three days of repopulating McMurray. And how do we get a bore water off without potable water? And how do we operate a hospital without water as well? So we focus all our attention from the source being at the plant and we work our way to the hospital and then we went beyond. So the first the first focus was downtown because that's where the hospital is, right? Yeah. yeah. That's correct. Yeah. And, and, and was that the first area that people came back to or did it just make sense logistically speaking? Uh, logistically, uh, June 1st, I also lived downtown by luck. Yeah. Um, yeah, that was the first date and uh, we needed the hospital back. What, when you see... When you look back one year, 12 months ago, from uh, those the crazy week, two weeks that you and your crews were running around doing what you needed to do, and you look at the situation now and where the city is, what do you think it's going to take for Fort McMurray to heal? Uh, time. Yeah. Uh, patience. And um, just hang in there. Um, this is McMurray. Uh, it's been my home for 50 years. Um, it's been good to us. Been good. And gatherings like this at Sny Park must help, right, to bring people together? Yes, of course. Um, you know, I've already met two faces here I haven't seen in almost a year now. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, it's good. It's nice to see a smiling face. Well, thank you so much. Guy Jetty was running the water treatment facility here in the city during the Fort McMurray wildfire one year ago. And Jill, you know, we're going to be finding out how firefighters are doing 12 months after what they went through here in Fort McMurray. We'll have that feature coming up in just a few minutes.